Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again and you know what? No, I'm not going to randomise. I have decided and it's probably a bad decision but I really want to play Tainted Lost and I think it's mainly because I'm on a zero streak so it doesn't matter if I don't achieve anything but I really love this character and I feel like I haven't really got the opportunity to play him much recently so I'm going to give him a go. We might end up having a pretty bad time and probably getting a little bit of a minor streak. You know how it goes sometimes but... But, I will try my best. We will see if we prevail. We'll see if it goes well. We will see if it goes well. I don't have a question of the day. Ooh, that guy telefragged me almost. I don't have a question of the day lined up today. I don't particularly have a good one. Oh, God. Ah, oh, okay. Just kill me. Just kill me. That's, that's, a, that's a quick restart. There's no point, no point playing on if we don't have our holy card. If, basically, if you lose your holy card in the first two floors and haven't found another one already... Just quick restart. <laughs> There's basically no point playing on unless you have like a god tier setup or god tier item. Um, but for today's question of the day, what should we go with? What should we go with today? Um, hmm. Hmm. What was? Um, that's not a great one. I I'm trying to think of a good one here. Give me, give me two seconds. I've jumped into this recording, ill prepared. I've basically just woken up, but. Here we go. Um, what's the next? Uh, oh gosh, I hate this. What's the next holiday you plan to go on? If and if you haven't got one planned, what is one that you'd like to go on? For me, I'm going to Greece with my girlfriend. It's actually our first holiday, just me and my girlfriend. Uh, we've only been on abroad one other time, and it was with people from her work, which is still really nice. But yeah, it wasn't really a holiday for us. But saying that, we are kind of not going just us. We're, we're going just the two of us, but my parents will also be there. Um, it's my parents' wedding anniversary, and they suggested that we come along. They're going for two weeks, we're only going for one, but we're still going to, like, go on our own, but then, like, meet up with them every now and again. We're not going to spend the whole time there with them. Uh, but I'm actually really excited for it. Um, for, for one, Greece is just a really nice place. But for two, Greek food is possibly the best food. Oh, that's so nice. Greek food is possibly some of the best food in existence. Um... So I'm really excited to go and try some authentic Greek food because yeah, I just love it. It's it, it's just it's just the best. It really is just the best. Oh, honestly, little Gertie early is pretty good stuff. Boom. Oh, uh, what? How did he miss? Okay, no, he he made it back over. We get him to full kilter, send him off, and he is he is on his way. It's beautiful, actually. Okay, we do have an eternal guy here, which I I don't understand. Luckily, he wasn't too difficult. Okay. Um, I think we got this. I think we got this. But yeah, um, we're going in at the start of October. So in like, I think it's like 70, 70 days, something along those lines right now. I don't know the exact time, but it's, a, it's around that. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Like I said, it's our first holiday, which is really surprising considering like, for one, me and uh, my girlfriend have gotten to a... Um, a, a decent enough, I wouldn't say it's an amazing, but a decent enough financial situation where we could feasibly go on holiday if we wanted to. And we just never have. And we've been together like eight and a half years. So it's like, <laughs> we really ought to. We really ought to. So we decided to treat ourselves and uh, actually book the holiday and just say, fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with work and everything after. If I remember correctly, these bumble bombs still don't work correctly. Um, we'll see, we'll see. They might have been fixed. But yeah, uh, I'm going to say I'm, I'm really excited. So it'd be really interesting to hear where you guys want to go for holiday, where you guys might have already booked, um, what are your plans. I always try to tend to, like, when I went with my family, I've actually been to quite, a, been on quite a lot of holidays with my family. Um, my parents, despite not having a ton of money, um, were pri <laughs> prioritised saving up for holidays and were relatively well-travelled. Um, so I've actually been to a lot of different places. Um, I'll try and recount. I've been to Greece once before. I've been to Spain a few times. I've been to France a few times. I've been um, to the Dominican Republic. I've been to... I always forget that Eternal Names exist for Tainted... Uh, Tainted Lost. Really, they shouldn't, in my opinion, but they do. As you can see, not very good going. I really should just drop a bomb here. Oh, no, they do work. They, they, they do work. I really should have popped that a little earlier. That's good. So we don't have a we don't have a holy mantle right now, so we gotta be careful. Oh, Damocles is pretty damn good for us here. This is a really good run despite not having a um, despite not having a holy card. Let's go check our shop and see if we can get one. 
Um, I know that we don't have money right now, but we might be able to bomb some stuff to get some money. We'll go check it out. This is a really good run that I'd like to keep going. Um, no, we don't have anything there, fortunately. Mother's Love would have been pretty good for some stat upgrades. Um, but yeah, so I've been like Dominican Republic. I've been to Egypt like three times. I've been to the I've been to Sri Lanka. I've briefly been to Dubai. That was in a just a, a um, crossover flight when I went to Sri Lanka. It was like a pit stop. We basically got to stop and like look around the airport a little little bit. It wasn't exactly the most fulfilling Dubai trip I've ever been on. Um, it is the only one though. <laughs> so yeah, like I, I still haven't been to America. I'd like to visit America. Um, so that's a bit of a shame, but otherwise I've, I've been very lucky in being able to the travel the traveling that I've been able to um, to do. And so I don't know what this kind of enemy does. I'm a bit scared here. Okay, no. Um. So yeah, it's a bit surprising that um, me and my girlfriend haven't really done anything of the sort. Uh, the moon? We'll pop the moon. Yeah. Whoa, this guy is floating. We did get some items here. We got ourselves Spirit of the Night, which is unfortunately exactly useless um it literally does nothing for us uh, so that's nice um and we got ourselves brings pickups to their simplest form what happens if we do it with coins here okay nothing thought so but i had to check okay i mean i was gonna say i guess now we definitely have spectral but we we definitely had spectral before i don't know why what i was meaning by that it gave us a cool costume i suppose that's something Slightly difficult here. Let's go check out the shop again. Looking for that holiest of cards. Wow, Diplopia. Diplopia would be pretty insane for us. So we'll see if we can afford it. That This was a room that I was ill prepared for just then. I, uh, I made a huge mistake in where I was stood right there. I always forget how these enemies work. But yeah, I'm trying to beat this. This is, a, this is a something that I hit. I'm trying to think of the like best use case for this um, for this active item. Right now, I don't really have one in my mind. I don't really know where, like, what you'd use this for. To be honest, I'm a little unsure. I know that this run's going to come crashing down very shortly. Um, I realise that like without a holy card, this is going to be short lived. But I, basically, if we get an eternal boss right now, especially if it's like Bombino or something, we're going to have a hard time. I can't remember what this this guy does. Um, I remember him being difficult. Luckily, he died. Um, buy items without money. Get a stat down for pennies owed. Pretty good. And, ooh, look. More piercing and spectral. I, I mean, I suppose piercing is new to us. Spectral isn't. But losing the shot speed and stuff is not good. Um, did we want to buy anything from the shop here? I think we did want the flop here. I realize that's going to give us a stat down and we now earn some money, but that other active is just, I, I don't know. I don't think it's very good. That was close. Okay. Got that. Gimme, gimme. Ooh, troll bomb. Hello. Not so kind. And then more of the void. More of the void is really good. We still need that protection. I'm, I'm sort of thinking of what, what I'm going to want to use my Diplopia on. I still don't really know. Maybe a good shop. Maybe a good item room. Possibly a devil deal. Barasov. It's good. Wait, what? Barasov and what else? Okay, Tonsil. It's good, but I. Ah, it's a bit risky. I think more of the void is going to be our saving grace, at least for now. Just because the damage output on it is pretty high. I think we need to make sure it's charged before we enter literally any room, uh, just in case. Yeah. Well, not too big of a deal. Not having mapping here. I always find not having mapping really awkward with uh, a character like this when we need to not get hit. I most certainly will not be re-rolling. Okay, there goes some of our uh, debt. Yeah, there you go. We got rid of all of our debt now. We're, we're only a, a small amount in debt. So that works. I really love that item and the uh, the UI elements that come along with it. it. Looks really good. Right. Obviously, there's some of these rooms like these ones that we don't really need to worry about too much. But all it takes is an awkward eternal enemy to really wreck our shit. Okay. This is really good. Um, and this I don't care about. 
If I use Diplopia this floor, I might come back for it, because with Eternal Enemies, it can be particularly quite good. I, as much as obviously we don't want the stats down, I will take Member's Access card, just because it gives us more opportunities to take stats down for potentially very, very good items. Such as that. That's a very high cost. That would be a significant stats down, so I don't know if we want to take it. But, but, it is pretty good. Although we do already have piercing. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think if it'd be good. I don't really think so. It being able to hit enemies multiple times, though, could, could be, be, be the thing that we need to make it pop. Okay, I don't really know where I'm going now. Have I been this way before? No, not by the looks of it. I think Infestation 2 with our damage is going to be pretty good here. I'm just waiting for the moment, though, that we perish. All it takes is one awkward room. And we, we insta-die, so I'm a little worried. Just remember we've got bombs as well here if we need them. This, this is exactly, exactly the sort of awkward boss I was talking about. Thank God we killed him as quick as we did, because my God, that guy is a pain. Okay, shot speed here is fantastic. Don't really care so much about the money, but it is going to get us out of debt. There you go. Get our stats back. Um, and I think we, I think we carry on. We, we, we head on. Um, yeah, the shot speed is really nice to get some of that back. Also, shot speed based damage. Double haunted chest. I'm gonna try this. I'm 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 definitely worried about this. Just based on these enemies. But I'm hoping the infestation 2 essentially carries us with this, and it did. I was hoping for an item, obviously, and with Diplopia it would have been um with not Diplopia, with uh what's it called? Can't remember the name of the bloody item now. Um Damocles, it would have been really good. Okay, this is obviously an awkward room. Keep our distance. In fact, I was, just, I was about to say, if we get awkward rooms like that, leave an infestation to do everything. This we just take. I really want an, an item room with multiple items before we use Diplopia, I'll be honest. I do think the more of these, uh, these spiders we stack up, the better our chances of having a good time here. Obviously, sometimes the spiders have to take their sweet, sweet time to get over there. We do have to worry about that. I should get that other key. We actually might need it. Let's go back and do these other rooms first, because I feel like they are uh, not the way we're supposed to be going, and therefore probably more likely to have our shop and item room. Yeah, nice. Honestly, infestation could carry. As long as we can get... Another um, holy card soon. I think we're in the market for something good here. Shot speed up, speed down. Oh, that speed down is pretty bad, but that shot speed up is huge. More money, good, good. That puts us with the ability to actually buy some stuff from the shops and not be uh, in debt, which is really nice. Okay, this, this is a room that I do not like. Monstro should die pretty quick here. Yeah, he did. Good. It's still scary. Still scary. Okay. Um. Check down here first. We still don't have a card. Holy card. Okay. Good. Some good stuff here. I think. I think we actually buy all of this. So this we buy for real money. This we buy for stats down. Oh my god, the shot speed stat down on that was insane. And this we buy the stats down as well. And we pop it to get Buddy in a box. I, I maybe should have just diplopied all of that. That might have been a good idea. But we'll get all that money back. I am very worried about our speed down though. The speed down there is particularly quite bad. It's not found the use for diplopia really. But it, oh, it gave me... That's going to kill me. It gave me BBF. That, I guarantee that guy is my demise. Guppy's eye. Danger room. Let's duplicate. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'll be honest. For some reason, I was really expecting 
that duplicating that would trigger Damocles and spawn an extra two items, and that's precisely the reason I did it. Did not work that way, so that was a pretty terrible use of Diplopia there. So, that's not great. Honestly, not what I was expecting, really, but hey her. Yeah, uh, we, d we definitely need some money to, to regain the stats that we lost, because honestly, the speed down here is particularly awful, uh, and the shot speed down as well. Uh, but... I think it was worth it to buy those items, because it's like a stats down for now, but it's an investment for the future sort of thing. We got here four room. Don't think we'll want that right now. I just gotta be really, really, really observant of where BBF is at all times. Okay, we have 22 cent off a full refund here. That is still quite a ways off. There's two cards. Still a little disappointed we haven't um, haven't really got anything going for us here. Okay, good, that guy was easy. We got Mr. Dolly, which is um, a nice tainted loss to Mr. Dolly now. And Squeezy, which is really good as well. We got a Zealot Heart. Oh, unfortunately, we can't use Zealot Hearts. That's a little sad. I thought we could. Right. Also, the mausoleum doors are open for us. We don't want to go there, though. Okay, let's keep it going. This is still very scary. I can't believe we've gone this long without a holy card at this point. This is kind of crazy. I'm guessing our shot speed will be, like, the last stat to return to us, because it's the least important most of the time. Oh, we did lose some of our luck as well. I didn't even think about that. Okay, like, gotta be careful here because these like boils shoot at you. I need to kind of destroy those first before we get in there. There you go. I'll check this out. Shouldn't crash. Oh, this is this is the other Damocles. Unfortunately, that is, in my opinion, a far worse option to normal Damocles. Like you don't you don't have the um you don't have the the chance of death. Also, fuck that room if we can if we can help it. Uh, you don't have the chance of death, um, but we don't care about the chance of death at the minute. Like, it's literally not even a chance for us, like, because you have to get hit first for it to trigger, so it doesn't matter to us at all. Therefore, it is just worse, and we're already killing things quickly enough, so we really don't have to mind or worry about that whatsoever. I'm really hoping there's a way to get around that, um, that other room. If not, I might have to use my uh, Emperor card. We are on Necro 2, though. So preferably not, we won't be able to get out. But if we can't make it to the boss fight without going through that room, I might just use my Emperor card, because honestly, going through that room is a death sentence. Okay, luckily, BBF is gone now. He was only temporary. Kind of why I didn't end up taking the book, because I could have taken it because I don't have an active anymore, but the chance of him spawning is, is just too um, too risky. Uh, some refund on our stats again. It's giving us our, stat, uh, our damage and luck first, by the looks of it. I actually love um, burn spares here. I think burn spares is such a good item. That's a Dormic there. Dormics are broken at the moment, from what I remember. So I do have to go through that room, but I would miss out on my shop and item room, so I might have to play a bait. Um, yeah, I might have to I might have to bait this and just try and get through it, which I know is gonna go awfully. I, I just know it. But honestly, I need item rooms, I need shops. I've got so much value in those rooms. Um that I think I kinda have to do this, so. Wait a minute. Can I do this? That works. Okay, with flight, I didn't realize that would work so well. That's not so bad. That is not so bad. God damn. My run is also kind of laggy. I'm not quite sure what the lag is about. Okay, so 
Lacrophagy is insane for us. And Black Hole isn't amazing, but it is a bit of protection on certain rooms like our boss fights. I do think we're going to die on Mother if we don't get a Holy Card first, I'll be honest. Or, or I'm going to get telefragged by a ghost. <laughs> Thanks, game. That was great. Good, 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 good. I couldn't see, obviously, because of all my spiders on the screen. And it just spawned underneath me. <laughs> like, it, like I think if I hadn't had my spiders on the screen, that wouldn't have been a true telefrag. I think I did somewhat walk into him. But... I'm still going to call it a telefrag because I don't agree with the way I died there. I think my spiders were just covering him up. Oh, shit. He's all, uh, he's all bloody and mad. We'll give this one of a go, but unfortunately, I think we've missed out on the, uh, on the really good run there. Damocles, of course, being the best thing on that run. Just not getting a holy card for that long. It just sucks. I know it'd make him easier, but I'd prefer instead of the holy card thing, he just got wooden cross. You get one holy mantle a floor. I know that's obviously significantly more powerful than he is right now, but he'd at least be a bit more fun to play. I, I do like him the way he is. I think he is a, a, a true hard mode character, and I like that. But considering he has achievements tied to him, for me, that's a little rough. Give me the odd. Nice one. I think when you tie achievements to, uh, to something... Hey, that's what I was hoping for. When you tie achievements to something, you you really ought to have um, other ways of completing it or make it not so difficult. Guess we're trying to open this. There you go. Nice. Interesting room design here. Definitely a bit scary, but when you've got flight, not so bad. I think rune bag. Rune bag could be really good. Uh, secret room is probably here. Big pill. Keratogenesis, I guess. Didn't do anything extra. It did exactly what the normal version does, which is a bit sad, but oh well. Right, pop to our boss fight. We're getting a lot of eternal bosses here, which is just unfortunate. Having the fire rate here is really nice. I'll push that in there and hopefully do some big damage. I can't believe I got out of that without losing a holy card. That was kind of insane. Definitely want damage up. Damn it. Still good though. Right. Speeding through, speeding through. That's to be one of those runs. Yeah, I really like our movement speed right now. Oh, I, I, kept, I felt like I had Herming there. I don't have Herming anymore. Oh, another crawl space? Hell yeah. Draw a Lilith. Soul it gives us Papa Fly. Okay, what we got down here? Bit of a less interesting room, and surprisingly, gave us an item that we're not supposed to be able to get on this character, which is strange. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, also, these Wisps are going to die pretty fast, I assume, but they are going to lead us to have quite a bit more firepower for a while. But they're more of a defensive shield though than anything for us right now. That's not, that's my main use case for them. Indeed it is, indeed it is. Okay, pop in here. Bird's eye. That's really, really good. Not as good as the, the pepper, but really, really good. Also, Soul of Eden here is very, very nice too. Good, good. yes. Shooting out those fires. Anything that scales off of luck is going to be top tier for us. I'm very happy to have it. Yeah, Soul of Eden, I don't know if we'll get much use out of, but I'll try it. Okay. See, the firepower with these wisps is really good. I, for some reason, thought those fires weren't mine then and cracked myself. That's good. That's good as well. False PhD is good. I, th I think I probably should have taken Time Gal there. Um, but False PhD is pretty good. 
damn it. I was hoping for another uh, another key out of that. Wasn't great. Anyways, power through. Power through. Power and through now. I want to make my way downtown. Three sacks. Uh, I think consumables apart from keys right now are pretty good, so I'm not going to worry about that. Stop destroying the poops. You're creating more problems for yourself. Not a secret room, surprising. Okay, still no keys, unfortunately. But the game the game did help us out there. Okay, we got a really good item here. We can save our um our holy card now. Doesn't give us invincibility or anything, but it is pretty good. Um you need another key for that. I'd like to open that. Most certainly. We got an additional holy card as well here. We, we are on a pretty good run here. Do you see that Dom there, by the way? Kind of trolly that it can even show up as Tainted Lost, but there you go. Look, Penny, got that luck back that I lost. Still no keys. Okay, there's a key. Right, let's go open up that uh, old chest. Old chests are kind of good because they can give you some good stuff, but I'm not, I, most of what it's going to give me is probably going to be useless. I'm still going to open it, though. Yeah, unfortunately, three soul hearts. I knew that there was a, a good chance that whatever I opened wasn't going to be super useful, but there was also a chance it could have been really good. So. I really should try and use my Soul of Eden on something here. I, I'll see what my boss item ends up being. We'll kind of play it by ear on that. This guy's got to go fast. He's a very difficult boss. That champion version specifically. Okay, so we get perfection. Honestly, Squeezy's fine by me. That should give us, um, yeah, the max fire rate right there. Grab a golden heart because that's this money. And I think away we go. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. This has been very productive. I mean, it's not quite as good as the last run, but defensively, it's way better than the last run. Like, we'll take this. Even if we're just getting shot speed out of it. Because the amount of fires we're shooting out now. God damn the amount of fires we're shooting out now. <laughs> Crazy. But yeah, now we can pop our space bar whenever we lose health. And then if we somehow lose it again, we have another holy card as backup. So we're in a good spot. We're in a very good spot. Damn, we're just going to spread fires everywhere. The fire the fire spewing items are just insane at this guy. Just insane. They're insane with luck in, in general, but... How'd you manage to throw it up there, sir? Look at that, we just walk into the room, everybody dies. Everybody dies. 3% chance to shoot a poison tier. Okay, that would be good if we did if we had more um, trinket slots, but we don't. It's the, honestly, for me right now, it's just the champion enemies that are really making me sketch out. Because there's so many of them that I just don't remember what they do. Soul of Bethany. Um, I don't think either of those are any good for us. Possum Head and the Genie's Lamp. Keep it going. It's, it's going to say, it's not quite got the intrigue of the last one. But still. I'm really liking getting all these bombs. All the bombs are very useful, but goddamn, we're killing bosses with some true speed. Paralysis, um, Terrific Genesis, Shot Speed down for a Damager, Luck down for a Damager. Luck. Hell yes. Considering we're. As long as we stay above 10 luck, we don't care. So. That's actually really good with false PhD. We got a nice amount of damage there. Not that our damage is really our main factor right now. Just love it. Like rooms like this, you just get all the fires ready. Create a an impassable selection of fires for them to walk through. You're good to go. I've not really been using the heart tokens all that much. They do reset per floor, so it's not you can keep them throughout the whole run. Um, I should be using them a little more if I get the opportunity, really. But I've honestly not really been looking out for the opportunities so much. Which I probably should have been. Money. 
Yeah, I'm going to say, this is kind of why I didn't take time, gal. Because once you get the uh, perfection, you're going to be getting so many consumables that it doesn't really matter. We do have a pair throw there if we want it. I do remember that the fires don't have spectral. I always forget that for some reason. We, just because we have spectral doesn't mean the fires do. Check this out again. Don't need the blackout, unfortunately. There is a mod that makes it so that so um, like grabbing hearts as the uh, as tainted lost and normal lost gives you wisps instead, which is an interesting concept. But I I, I genuinely just think it's it's a bit too strong because like if it was if it was wisps that just shot out like their little tears that could be okay. But I think it can give you multiple types of wisps and some of them can spawn items and they act as a protective shield regardless of what damage they do. And I think that's the that's the part that makes it really good. Good. Been through. That is very nice. Auto breaks grimaces for us whenever they're in rooms. There's plenty of rooms that have grimaces and plenty that are really annoying, so very much like to see it. Um, ooh, I think this is good, and I think this is good as well. Another soul. Hey, poison tears. Very nice. Yeah, I think I think 4.5 volt on a three room charge active is is better than the three room charge itself, and it's, it means that we can charge it within a boss fight sort of thing, which means we get multiple uses. I think it's a very very good uh, pickup to be honest. I'm not saying this run is gonna be a win, but this run has legs. This run most certainly has legs. It could go the distance if we get lucky. Especially with the damage output that we've got going on right now, and the defensive parts of the fires as well. But the fact that we managed to keep our wisps alive for this long is shocking to me, to be honest. Um, I think we're at max fire rate, so this doesn't really make any sense to take. Uh, I will check my devil deal here. Um, killing enemies? Yeah, that's definitely what we want. Okay, so I know that it's a little bit of a detour, uh, but I'm going to drop my uh, holy card in here. And I'm going to go back and get the pair throw. And use it to reroll. Just because while the the, the bar of soap is good, we are at fire rate cap, and I do not believe that the bar of soap breaks fire rate cap at all. I may be wrong about that. I apologize if that's the case. Um, someone can correct me, shout at me, and belittle me if that's the case. Forgot about you. But I do think it's worth if we have a pair throw on the floor, especially one that we, we are definitely not going to carry to another floor to use it to try and get something with even a little more value. It doesn't have to be better, because um, it, like, it's going to be hard to find a better item, but it's just an item that, that gives very little value. But instead, we get um, extra damage spawn one coin on pickup. There you go. Extra damage. Kind of an interesting idea for an item. I suppose if, it, if the coin can be any coin, then it could be more valuable. It could get a luck upgrade, could get a dime sort of thing. A bit weird that it spawns just one coin, though. But, I don't know, I, I, I kind of like boss items that are just like that. Nothing crazy about them. Just a stat upgrade. It means that the boss pool doesn't get too flooded with weird stuff. But, just just like that look. But one, you get black arts for him, which as a, um, as a normal character is really good. But yeah, just rooms that have annoying grimaces that are in the way, or could be problematic, become so much less of a problem for us now. Shot speed down for a damage up again. Shot yes, please. Down. Didn't see this here. That's very nice. And that was a very, very good payout, too. The shop is valuable this time around. We're on Dank Depths 2. Yeah. That's the candle. Go for a reroll here. Try and get something a bit more useful to us, like Champion Belt. Okay, go. Blank card. Holy sugar. Blank card. Is I think blank card's better than I think blank card's better, right? I'm hoping I get more money out of this than I paid into it. Um, that's actually pretty good for right now. We can probably get some money out of this. 
One moment. My phone is going off. What the hell? I've got a phone call coming through. One second. Okay, I am back. I apologize about that. I just got a phone call come through. I wasn't expecting it. I almost bombed myself, as you probably just saw. But yeah, I've, I've got a lot of bombs here. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure to come back to perf for perfection. But I can probably get myself up to enough money to do this. Um, let, me, let me just drop this here. And we'll come back for it. Once we know what rooms have the majority of rocks in and stuff. Once we know where we can get the most money. Be careful of that rock, that spike rock there. Okay, so this is a good room for it, obviously. Got a red room there if we want to use it. This is another good room for it. Well, I say, I don't, I don't know, do the skulls count as rocks? Probably not, right? Okay, be careful here, because Telefrag City is not not where I want to be. We also have to be kind of careful of our scaling um, okay that doesn't actually matter for us kind of careful of our scaling speed as we get kills we get more speed that's good but could could be potentially problematic if we don't expect the speed increase if we're not ready for it sort of thing okay. but so far so good this is another good room for it Good. Ooh, spike chest almost got me. Beautiful money there. Okay, so we got the money we need anyway, so we don't have to bugger around now, to be honest. I just want to see how um, how much better blank card ends up being, because is it... I can't remember. Is it a three or four room charge for holy card? I really can't remember. Um, shot speed down. Shot speed... Oh, no, speed down and shot speed down. We can take a speed down, definitely, because we've got scaling speed. I do not want to take a shot speed down at this point, I'll be honest. We've got fast bombs here. Why not? Okay. Let's go and grab blank card. We do have three of these. We can go one, two, three. Good, good. I love that. So useful. Right. Go back. I won't know how good blank card is until I use it, will I? Which is a bit of a shame. Before, wait, uh, we can buy a charge. Okay, it, it is a four-room charge. That's fine, then. We'll, um, we'll stick with this. That would be really nice as well, actually. So maybe I will go around and... Um, Grab it. I haven't been able to hold two charges. Seems invaluable. Let's go and grab this, and then we go through to this. This room will probably do it for us. Or not. Where was the other room again? There was another room that was really good for it, right? Was it this room? No, was it this room? Yeah, it was. Okay, good stuff. Right, yeah, we, get, we grab the battery as well. Make sure to pick up perfection again. And I think then with 4.5 volt, the battery, all that good stuff, we've got a really, really solid setup. Really solid setup. Alright, let's go fight our boss. But remember, this is mother, so it's going to be a little tricky. We do have coming down, though, which, which helps a lot. Yeah, as you can see, the, the, the ability to get back charges here is pretty nutty. Um, we haven't been anywhere here, so I guess I just want to take um, the Polaroid. I mean, I could check this out. If there's anything amazing in here. There is. There is um, Deadeye. I'm going to go for this. I know it's risky. Wow. Already lost the holy card. And another. And another. Wow. 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 That boss is some fat horse shit. <laughs> How many times are you going to stomp on me? No coming down effect for that bad boy. Wow, that was... That was... That felt like an unlosable run. And look how much charge I had left. I was going to use the one in my pocket, but obviously if I use the one in my pocket, then the blank card is useless. Oh, that was... I actually can't believe that. That was horrendous. Horrendous, that boss. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm annoyed. See you guys in the next one.